This is Guns and Boxes. It's a brand new action game that combines Bomberman with a dual stick shoot 'em up. It's been hanging out on Steam Early Access for a few weeks now, but it finally has a single player mode. I know you have a lot of questions about Guns and Boxes, so let's grip this. You say it's like Bomberman? You bet it is. Just look at it. This is a game for people who love the multiplayer fun of Bomberman, but wish it had more guns and fewer bombs. Each round is played on a single screen map that is large enough to fit four players in a bunch of boxes. The goal is to break open those boxes and kill everybody else on the screen before they get you. It's a simple concept that's worked for Bomberman since 1983, and for good reason. The addition of long-range firepower ends up making guns and boxes a lot more chaotic than Hudson's popular party game. Suddenly, we're able to target enemies from across the room, assuming there aren't boxes and other obstacles in the way. To compensate, each of the five characters can be hit twice before exiting the round. But even with the added health, rounds tend to be fast-paced and over in only a few seconds. What kind of guns are we talking about? As you'd expect, Guns and Boxes has a large variety of both real-world and fantastical video game creations. For every AK-47 or shotgun, we're given a hot dog throwing gun or the charge blaster from Mega Man. These guns are represented by a glowing jack-o'-lantern, and once you've grabbed the weapon, the pumpkin dims. I was surprised that some of my favorite guns included a flamethrower and grenade launcher, two weapons I normally avoid in most action games. It's a nice mix of firepower, though some weapons feel a lot more unfair than others. How can you tell what weapon you're getting? That's the problem. You can't. Every pumpkin looks exactly the same, so you're basically just collecting guns at random. I'm not a fan of this decision, and I hope it's just temporary in the early access build. I also wish the five different characters were a lot more varied. While each one has a unique secondary attack, they're all basically the same, and they even look similar. It'd be nice to see a slower character that has more health, or perhaps an agile character that only has one hit. There's a lot that can be done with both the characters and the boxes to make the game significantly more exciting. Guns and Boxes is a great concept with a lot of promise. There's not much content in the Early Access build, but it does give you a good taste of what sets it apart from Bomberman. It's a fun idea that's best with friends, either in the real world or online. It's currently going for $9.99 on Steam, and I think that's a fair price. There's still a lot of work to be done, but I'm a lot more excited for this than I would be for yet another Bomberman sequel. Hey, thanks for watching our preview. We're officially in November, which means the holiday season is in full swing. I'm currently hard at work on this year's Christmas feature, which will be running 32 days starting on Thanksgiving. It's a massive undertaking, so expect to hear more about it in the coming days. In the meantime, we're going to be reviewing everything from Serav to Pavilion to Kiranaga's Revenge. It's a busy month, so I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.